Hi guys, welcome to the channel Practical Reefer. My name's Mark. Now today we're going to be adding the first cleanup crew to the Reefer XL200. Now it's been running for about three weeks um, and we're just starting to get some brown diatoms on the rock which I'll show you a bit closer in a minute. Um, one of the benefits though of the way I started up this tank is that I started it with 30 um, mollies that have been acclimated or they were actually born in salt water. So I've got 30 little mollies in there, they're probably about eight months old so they're, they're coming on now. But I actually just caught them yesterday while I was working from home. Um, I kind of looked around and there was probably about eight or nine of them just on the top piece of rock that you see there. Um, and they were actually just pecking away at the rock, just pecking away at the algae um, or the, the diatoms that were on there. Unfortunately, by the time I got my phone out, um, probably nearly half of them had spotted me coming up to the tank with a phone and thought they were getting fed. So they were actually up at the, up at the glass coming to see me. But there's still a, I've got a little video there about maybe four or five of them still pecking away and, and doing what mollies do. So I'll show you that just now and we'll come back. And here guys, I've just noticed this while working away. This is why we started off a tank with 30 baby mollies. I will be adding more cleanup crew, but these guys are just absolutely picking away at the rockscape. Um, one of the bigger ones doing the same down the bottom. And I just noticed there was probably about seven or eight of them doing it and I got the phone out and they thought they were uh, getting fed, which is why they've all moved. But we'll leave them to do that. So guys, as you see there, the mollies are kind of doing what I was hoping they would do anyway. So they're pecking away at the algae and, and diatoms and things like that. So what I'm going to be adding next to the reefer is actually stomatella snails, which I'll pop a picture up just now for people to see and dove snails. Um, so these are actually two of my sort of favourite cleanup crew snails. Um, you get a lot of the snails that you buy out of shops and things like that and they last so long and they need to be replaced. However, I find with stomatella snails and dove snails that they will breed readily in your tanks and it's almost like a very sustainable or um, self-sustaining uh, population of cleanup crew. Now, I've got a little 10 gallon that I've mentioned a few times that we don't talk about i'll show you that in just a second um unfortunately there's a few pests in there there's um aptasia vermitid snails um and asterinas which some people consider pests some people don't um so i can't really just throw a rock from there into this tank because i don't want um, some of those pests coming over um, but it does have a really really good population of uh, stomatella snails so when the lights go off tonight maybe an hour or two after that I'll get in there, crack the light on, and I will just use an algae scraper and a fishnet, and I'll catch a load of stomatella snails, hopefully off the glass. Um, and then also, I've added dove snails into there. I didn't actually add the dove snails. I added a frag rack covered, um, or with a few sort of clutches, if that's what you call it, uh, um, of dove snail eggs, which came from a nano. Um, and they've actually now all hatched, and you can tell that they're definitely dove snails. Um, so there's quite a few of them in there, so I'll probably try and grab a few of those or maybe grab one or two of the bigger ones from the Nano as well. So they breed no problem in my tank. So stomatella snails and dove snails, I will add in, I'll try and add a good 10 or so of each, even if they're just very tiny. Um, and in the coming months they'll start to breed as well. And based on how much algae there is, they'll just the population will increase and decrease. And I don't really want to be having to buy and you know keep an eye on cleanup crew. If I've got something like that, I'll breed readily. Um, you know, as algae increases, the population will increase and hopefully they'll keep things quite sort of stable and balanced. Um, so yeah, that's probably my two favourites there. The other one is the Asterina uh, stars. Now, the tank that I've got there, I've had running for, I've just got a note here, 11 weeks um, as I'm shooting this. And I scraped the glass in it a few weeks in, maybe three weeks in, um, call it a month. Um, maybe five weeks so I haven't scraped the glass in this little 10 gallon tank for at least probably six or seven weeks um, I would say and it looks pretty damn clean like there isn't an algae problem in it there's a couple of corners with some algae but I'm talking light algae so much less than my nano but it's only got two fish in it as well but the cleanup crew are doing a really really great job between dove snails, domatella snails and Asterina stars so that's one of the reasons why I'm hoping to use them as well. And the Asterinas might still go in, we'll decide. That's one for later. Um, but let me know what you think about adding Asterina stars. I'm still on the fence about it, because once they're in, they're in. Obviously I can get a Harlequin shrimp, but then they'll, they'll eventually starve if, if I don't have more. Um, there's also a Bumblebee shrimp, which is a, a possible option. So 
we'll go and have a look at the 10 gallon tank that we talk about but we've never looked at um, it's a very very um, simple setup it was thrown together to take some corals from a, a friend's tank breakdown so it's literally a 10 gallon tank a hang on back filter a par 38 bulb well above it um, a heater and there was space for an ATO which I've never used because it's got a, a tight fitting lid and it doesn't really evaporate much um, so it just gets a little top up once a week so we'll have a quick look at that and then we'll get some of these guys caught later on tonight and then we'll get them into the reefer and have a look so guys seeing as this tank's actually in a cupboard <laughs> at the moment is just a very temporary setup um, I've actually switched the light off for a little bit and just I've removed the lid there so just to get the snails to come out so having a look there so we can see in the back glass they're quite small but there's a couple of dove snails there in the, the clear piece of the, the frag rack and um, there's probably one two three diagonally across there and um, that's another little dove snail and um, there's another one there a uh, stomatella wise um let's just have a look oh, there's a couple there probably not the best focus there's a couple of little stomatellas there's actually looks like two or three or four actually on that piece of rock um, and there's also there's loads everywhere there's a little dove snail there you see one a bit closer up so they're kind of like a little conical shell um, but they, they breed really really readily in the, the aquarium or the reef tank and there's another stomatella there just uh, cruising around in the glass there's probably oh, there's another little one there on the bottom which we can just about see bang in the middle um, so there's loads of these, we've got a, a stomatella on the glass there, which maybe can't quite see for the focus. And then uh, quite a few dove snails on the back there, on the back of the uh, frag rack. So I'll get a load of these caught up and we'll get them into the reefer. So guys, uh, later on in the day now, so I've managed to catch um, five or six of the tiny little baby uh, dove snails. Uh, I'm just going to focus better there. So you can see them in there and then I've grabbed two of the adult chunky dove snails from the nano um, so they're probably potentially the parents of these tiny little ones that the eggs got moved into the the 10 gallon so plenty there so these five little ones can eat plenty and start to grow and possibly these two here might continue to breed in the the reefer xl 200 and then i've also managed to get just a fraction of the stomatella snails so there's about i think there's about 10 in here um plus uh a, quite a chunky big one so going to get these all in uh, unbelievably these stomatella snails are actually incredibly fast um, as soon as you start to try and catch them they, they can make quite a good pace um, and these ones the the doves from the nano were just easily grabbed out but the very tiny ones are actually quite difficult you're almost better to use like a a coral feeder and a dropper and kind of just knock them off a surface and suck them up trying to grab them with tweezers is very very delicate because they're so tiny but um, we'll get these um, just knocked off the bottom of this container and we'll pour them onto the rockwork and uh, let them get to work on the diatoms. So guys, that's them in the tank. That's uh, one of the bigger dove snails and quite a few of the, you can see there, quite small. Some of the, the smaller baby dove snails and a few of the stomatellas about on that rock as well. And one of the other big dove snails is at the bottom there and there's a few others that have dropped uh, way down to the bottom and you can kind of see the diatoms that I'm on about now on the what was pristine uh, dry rock but that's them in there hopefully they'll uh, start eating away at that along with the mollies and they'll do really well um, and we'll come back in just a second so guys there we have it um, that's my start of my cleanup cruise obviously the stomatella snails there's about a dozen or so in there 10 12 um, one bigger one and then also I've got the two uh, larger dove snails which hopefully will start breeding quite soon and then I've got half a dozen of the little baby ones as well so is they, you know, there's plenty of diatoms there for them to start eating and hopefully they'll grow quick enough um, and then they'll just start to reproduce and hopefully they'll kind of grow along with the, any algae or diatoms and things like that so we'll see how it goes obviously if diatoms start to pick up I can grab um, another, you know, 10, 12 stomatella snails quite easily out the other little tank um, and pop them in just to, to add to the population I've also got the mollies which pick away at the rock constantly as well they were actually picking away at one of the dove snail shells as it went in. They were just like, oh, it's a new surface and just started picking away at it. So hopefully that will keep the reefer right for another few weeks. Um, obviously, as the diatoms and ugly stage starts to kick in a little bit, but um, we'll see how that goes. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers and all my subscri subscribers in general. 
excuse my words. Um, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all next time.